Hello everyone, in front of the file art here, and we are looking at the Steinex Tonatiwa collection. In this collection, we have the Tonatiwa skin itself for Steinex, the Tequahia full arm skin, the Hewitt's Xylan Sandana, and then the Chamali and Tequahia decoration. I am sorry for butchering all those words. I, that was a struggle, please. So these three, the skins and the Sandana, we will be looking at in the Captura area. However, right now I'm going to show you the decoration itself because that actually goes off here in the Orbiter. It's this thing. It's basically Steinax's shield with it looks like two weapons. I'm assuming they're actually the polearm skin, which is really nice. I like it. it. Looks really good. With that being said, let us head to the symbol from now and we'll look at the skin and some colors on it. So here we are with the skin itself. As you can tell, it is very interesting. Um, the helmet is huge. I, I do kind of like the design and the pattern. I just wish it was actually uh, not so large. I, I feel that how the helmet is actually really distracting, especially if you have a smaller field of view. Thankfully, out here in Captura, it does not zoom in as much, but in the ship itself, it feels very overbearing. I like the feathers and the kind of tribal look. The very, um, what do you say? It has, the skin has some assets. Something that someone called out to me is the nipple clasp, as they put it here. However, if you actually go to your arsenal, you can remove those, I, which I don't know. I kind of go back and forth on. I, it's weird. The skin looks somewhat I don't know if the skin looks better or worse without them. It almost looks a little bare, but I feel that the auxiliary is a little weird. Not sure why they did that, but they did. I really like the Sandana. It seems like it actually um, yeah, spreads out as you're in mission. So when you're moving, it clumps, but when you idle, the whole it will move out. Which is kind of nice, but I feel that is a little weird because in mission, especially playing Steinek, you're not going to be really AFK for the most part. It does add a really nice look, I think, with it spreading out, but it is definitely peculiar. All in all, I really like the pattern of the skin. I like the way it colors. It looks really good. I actually like the whole arm. I really enjoy that they kept kind of the tribal feel on it, and it seems very... Uh, very nice. I, I like the overall design. That being said, let's look at some coloring. Then, what do we do? So this is my first coloring. It's very black and red coloring with the energy color being pink. And I actually like how it highlights certain things, such as the on the uh, face itself. You can see small bits of energy color there, pink. The I guess you call them feather. I guess the feathers on the parts that hang down of the head. These have the inner part being pink and the outer parts are red. I really like how everything works. I do think, I do like that the wings itself of the Sandana has a little bit of the energy color here. But for the most part, it does seem to take primary and secondary color. The feathers though that dangles, you take more of the energy colors. The skin itself is really good. I really like the designs in the chest and the abdomen area. The legs have a really nice pattern on them. It does look like he has um, toes, which is not something I've really noticed on the other Warframes. I do feel his toes are very um, very large compared to other Warframes' feet. All in all, it is a really good skin. I think it colors really well, as you can see from here. The pattern is really good. I like the, I don't know what it would be called, around his bicep. I guess band it looks like. All in all, it's a really good skin. I like the back part as well, how he has the little dangly bits that hang off the head. That being said, let's look at two other colorings, and then I'll show you a suggestion I have of the skin. So this is actually another darker coloring I had for him. I really enjoy the darker colors on him. I do think the pink as an energy color typically works really, really well. The blue is really good for the feathers. Look how uh, vibrant it is. I really like that when the skins add more vibrancy to the colors. 
I feel that sometimes certain colors get very muted, such as with the skin. I do feel that the primary and secondary are a little dull, in a sense. They don't have much color and pop. Granted, that could be the void shells really spoiling me, because they do be really able to make all the colors vibrant with the void shells. All in all, as you can see, the skin really pops. I really like how the blue works on the skin, especially on the feathers. The sandana itself actually works really well. And the feathers just on the headpiece. It's a really good skin. The sandana, or not the sandana, the polearm actually looks really nice here as well too. Really like the way it colors. How the energy color seems to go on the the I guess the blade itself, and then the full arm body seems to take most of your primary and secondary color, and then some of your other colors go here with the uh, feathers. Really good. That being said, let's look at one more coloring, and this is the final coloring. This is more of a white and black coloring, and I really like how this work works. I think the skin really looks really good. I will say that's one of the things that I feel very complicated about the helmet. The helmet is extremely big, but I like how vibrant the feathers are on top of it. With the white and black makes it look really good, and even with the blue and the black and the other two colorings, it worked really well. I do like how the skin works. So the way the blade actually works is it takes your primary color, but the mist you see is part of your energy color. So if you were to put, say, a green energy color, the blade would stay white. But the energy that you see, um, I, think not, I can't, I forgot, I can't get my mouse here. But basically, that energy that you see moving would be green, which I think is really nice. The skin itself is really good. The Sandana, I prefer more flowy, but I do feel the Sandana fits really well with the skin, and I do like how there's the streaks of feathers in the background of it. It's all in all a very well thought out skin, and same thing with its attachments. A great skin and I definitely will be using it more. I do think this is going to be the main main thing I'll keep on Steinek for the foreseeable future. So now that we've looked at the colorings I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. One suggestion I'd make personally is when I play the skin is I don't use the helmet because of how big it is so I instead use the Sinmora helmet. I do like the way it looks not really a huge fan of the Gorosic, but it is another one that is pretty nice. The Aegean is pretty good. Sinex base is decent. I kind of like Sinmora. Gorosic might actually be something I start using because that looks really good. Aegean, a little weird. Void Shell I would use, but I think it would look a little weird having the... Oh no, actually the Void Shell looks good. Currently, I do use some more though for the helmet, just because the, you know, the bandana, this skin is really big, the head, especially when you're in things like the Orbiter. That being said though, thank you so much for watching. Tell me what you think of the skin. I really enjoy it. I do think it's really good. I actually really like the pole arm skin. I think I'm going to be using Kiram and other pole arms more often just so I can use this skin. Or just so I can use the pole arm skin. Sedana so might actually stay on some of these as well because it does fit. I'm definitely going to be removing these, I think. I want to see does the skin actually look better far away without the, as she called them, nipple clamp? Oh, yeah. I, do, I, I think. Hmm, I don't know. I think with the chest plate be okay, but I think, ironically, the clamps did not call out the fact of how much they actually gave the skin nipples. So maybe with a bigger um, chest piece, I may be able to distract from the nipples on the skin. So if I can get put something good on the chest plate, I'll be okay. But we'll see. Otherwise, though, I really like the skin. I love it. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are below on it. Feel free to comment. Tell me if you like the skin. Do you not? Are you wishing it's a little different? Do you wish they had other attachments? I don't actually know 
what weapons came with Steinak. So if there is a full arm he uses or if he has a different type of weapon. All in all, I really like it. I do like the decoration. I just do not think I can put it out here, unfortunately. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new, do not like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think, and I'd love to hear, you, hear your opinions. Bye, everyone. And whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Take care, all. Peace.